Hey, good morning. This is Pete, North Las Vegas. I was looking over some of my rifles yesterday and we discovered a problem with this one. It needs to be dealt with. Let me pop this uh, strap off real quick and um, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so if you take a look at the buffer, you can see on the outer edge here that the anodized, the nitride, the paint, whatever Palmetto put on this buffer, you can see as we're starting to get some shiny metal around the very edge. What that means is this buffer is hitting that retainer pin during firing, which is not supposed to happen. When you close this rifle up, the back of the BCG is supposed to make enough contact with this buffer to push it off of the retaining pin. And that buffer is not supposed to hit when this rifle's closed up. Um, the only purpose for that retainer is just to keep your buffer from flying out when you, you split your upper from your lower, but it's not supposed to hit. So there's two primary causes. Um, either this, this hole here was drilled too far back that way, or um, the back of the, uh, the bolt carrier is, came up a little bit short. So those are your two most common issues. There's other things that can cause it. But anyway, I do have a solution for this. Uh, we're going to have to take the, the back of the, the buttstock off, the buffer tube. But uh, let me show you real quick how you fix this or how I fix it. Okay, so this one on the left is what's installed in the, uh, the rifle right now. And you can see the pin sits kind of right in the center. And how I've been fixing these is there's a few companies that you can get offset retainer pins from. So the one on the right, the stainless, you can see that the, the pin has moved out quite a bit that way, which will allow this buffer to come out a little bit more. And then the back of the BCG will make contact with the, the buffer sooner and come off of the pin so that this, this problem won't happen anymore. So um, I'm going to bust the castle nut off. Um, you can see that Palmetto did stake this. That won't be a problem taking it off. That just keeps it from vibrating loose. Does not prevent you from taking the castle nut off. And then I'm also going to show you something about this buffer tube that I noticed when I was looking at it that's eh, kind of strange to me. But we'll get to that here in just a minute. Let me get my uh, vice block in here and I'm going to go out to the garage, bust that castle nut off. You don't need to see that. Um, and I'll be using an uh, Aero Precision Buffer tube, spring, end plate, castle nut, blah, 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 the whole show. And the reason I ended up buying the whole kit, like I said, uh, when I get this apart, I'll, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, I probably should have recorded this. I just got back from the garage loosening up this castle nut, and it was just a little bit more than finger tight. I'm not exaggerating. I was just surprised at how little effort it took. Even though it was staked in two places, this thing just, just spun right off. So uh, I think somebody at the factory may have forgot to uh, torque that down before they staked it. All right, so let's get the tube off and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so this is the brand new uh, Aero Precision right here and you can see that they didn't machine a slot there. And there's the Palmetto again. And maybe you guys on your buffer tubes and the manufacturers you go with, uh, maybe you guys have seen this before. I. This is the first time I've ever seen it on a non-extended version. I've never seen that on a standard buffer tube. So that's a new one on me. Like I said, I put together a lot of these. All right, so let's get the uh, get this thing put together. Okay, so we now have the offset installed and it is like a perfect fit uh, from the buffer tube indexing to the shelf of the um, the shelf cut on the uh, offset. I mean, that's like, it couldn't be any better fit. So that's good. Um, let's get the, the brand new buffer and, and spring in there and uh, we'll see if uh, that took care of the problem, which I'm absolutely positive it did. Okay, before I slide the spring and buffer back in, now this Palmetto has maybe about a hundred rounds on it. So I don't know if the spring is taking a set or Palmetto just used a shorter spring to start with. But um, there's some differences in, in the material thickness up here on the buffer and between the one that Palmetto used. 
Um, so just based on, on cosmetic and, and looks alone, the uh, Aero Precision looks to be a uh, better quality. All right, let's get it in. Let's put the two halves together and see if we solved our uh, retainer pin problem. Okay, I can already tell by looking at it that this buffer is sticking out quite a bit further than the original setup. Like I said, let's get the two halves and uh, we'll close it up and uh, I'll show you that that's coming off the retainer pin and there's no way it's ever gonna hit it again. Okay, so we're gonna be kind of watching that uh, retainer pin down there at the bottom. I mean, like I said, I already know it's gonna come way off of there. You can see it's, I'm barely even got it halfway. Whoops, a little too far. But you can see that buffer is nowhere near that retainer pin now. So, this problem is fixed. Okay, well, I got a little happy with the wrench on the castle nut. I wasn't taking my time as much as I should. But I have some uh, aluminum black touch up. So we'll get in there and uh, fix that shiny. Oh, that's much better. Oh, pfft, like it never even happened. All right, Pete North Las Vegas, over and out. Okay, so bonus clip. Um, something I forgot to mention during the video. This problem here is not just because this is a Palmetto State Armory. I have a boatload of ARs. I don't even want to say how many I have because I may come across as some kind of nutcase. Well, I am, but that's another that's another discussion. Um, I've had the same problem on an old Colt that I bought. One of my new LR-308s using New Frontier Armory Lower. Um, it wasn't a problem, but I could see where it was close enough to where I put an offset retainer uh, pin in just to make sure I wasn't going to have a problem. And then on one of my other rifles, I think it was an Aero Precision Lower. And uh, it had the same issue. So like I said, it's not just because it's a Palmetto State Armory thing. Um, anybody's rifle could have this problem. And uh, if you're new to the AR platform and you start to see the very edge of your buffer get chewed up, that's, uh, that's not a good thing. Um, if, you see, if you start seeing some wear like more off the edge and in the center, that's from your bolt carrier. And either your bolt carrier has... Uh, a little bit of a groove or it wasn't machined flat or there's something causing the wear on the inner portion of your buffer. But if you're getting wear on the very edge, that's this thing hitting your retainer and it's not supposed to. All right. Pete North Las Vegas over now for real this time.